I think you can begin now um, because so, it is most people will have signed in by now. Okay, so I'm going to start with monochrome. <coughs> yes, I'm relearning the interface <laughs> for everything as I'm going. Um, it didn't start. There we go. It wasn't on the first image. So, so other John, <laughs> Mr. Sandmeyer. We, uh, I, I, you know, I'm trying to remember what I selected. I can remember some. Are we just talking about all of them here now, or? or um, I, well, I'd hate, I'd hate to say I really, you know, don't like something or whatever, and then it was the one I chose, or I really like something and I didn't <laughs> choose it. <you> know. Okay. <laughs> well. I'll give um, everybody a basic heads up then when we're going through. As a reminder for everyone, we don't have an actual score being end of the year. Uh, it's just honorable mentions and then the winner. Um, and we have one winner and one honorable mention in each category. Now, with the black and white, I'll just go through very, very quick. If you see the little gold asterisks in the lower right-hand corner, that means the image was an honorable mention. Oh, if you see a gold weird. star, <laughs> that mean, means it won. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So well, I'm going to, uh, I'm used to clicking, pausing. Clicking is actually. If you hit the G key, we can go back to grid and get out of slideshow and, and then just use the F key. Sorry, I like live in Lightroom when I'm in studio, so I. Oh, you are. Okay, my space bar does it too. I'll just have to remember not to click. <laughs> well, can um, we, we see all the thumbnails first of all? Uh, put sorry, up the grid. Again? Put yeah, up the if, grid. If, if, if you go out of a, a slideshow and, and, and hit G, uh, it should bring you to grid mode. You mean for Lightroom or for Zoom? No, for Lightroom. <laughs> what, what, Lightroom. I, it, you only well, use your um, uh, desktop as the mode of, of viewing. Um, I, I have the original website up, but you seem to have the stars and the little asterisks. There we go. Okay, and so you, you just want slider. to click this way yeah, instead of yeah, the and, and, and then increase your thumbnails of the slider. Not too big. And then maybe close the, at least the right window. Uh, we don't need the, the right panel. We can get as much visual real estate space here and then fill the frame with thumbnails. A little, little more of a slider down so we give love and respect to the lower image. Ah. I'm just gonna sl slide the thumbnail slider uh, line down just one winky tinky bit, and then we'll we'll be able to get the image at the bottom in. Just the slider. See the the. Thumbnail. It's in the lower right corner, John. There you go. There. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, one more, so we get them all. I'm gonna move this window. Hold on, I got this. Uh, yeah, I think right now you should have them all. There's only yeah. six in this. Oh, well, now I now I'm looking at you. How do I find all of this crap? I just lost. Oh, there it is. Okay, voila. All right. So now I'm clear here. So you know, I, I just want to share something to begin with, and not to make everybody feel good. Um, I don't like contests whatsoever, uh, <laughs> and I respect why you do this, and I get it. And magazines ask us to enter uh, these things, and. You know, I guess it gives us some sort of validation, whatever, but um, I don't know what we're trying to validate, but, but uh, every image has meaning and, and purpose and uh, it's subjective. You could have a completely different person in, in, in the space with you here. Uh, and it's very kind that you guys asked me to be a part of this, but the reality is if every time you did this, you will, if you did this over 10 different days, the exact same images with 10 different people, inevitably you'll probably get almost 10 different points of view. Uh, and, and, and so keep that in mind, not, not because again, I'm trying to make everybody feel good. Um, it, it is so subjective. 
it's subjective uh, to the individual who's looking at the work, right? Go to a museum uh, and, and look at, you know, paintings and photography and sculptures and whatnot, and, uh, and then go back in the museum, you know, a day or two later, and you're gonna see things that you didn't see the other time. So that's why uh, it, it, it is painful and, and almost uh, unacceptable, but I get it that in this weird thing we call photography, we have contest. And, and so I'm not poo-pooing or diminishing the, the basis of the Berkshire Camera Club for this. And I'm, I'm thankful that you thought of me to do this and I'm connected yeah, to many of you, but that shared, let's dive into it and why for whatever strange reason of the universe that certain images I felt uh, and, and maybe others that were still just as beautiful uh, didn't. Uh, or, or felt it different. Uh, uh, these were all really beautiful. Um, uh, I was sort of, and I wasn't using the journalist in me because I'm, I'm, I really don't like the term journalism. I do, I'm a storyteller and, uh, and, and journalism is too narrow of a peg. Um, and there's a story in everything. There's a story in that bench. There's a, definitely a story in the shadows of the trees on the, on the warehouse or whatever. Um, uh, and I was a bit torn um, in, in all kindness and respect to the landscape of the river. And, and this is where I actually asked John if I could make comments because I want to try to lift all of you and, and give you fire and give you love because you obviously love photography and you, you love it uh, either professionally or as a hobby or as, as a mixed bag of, of, of all the possibilities. Um, but I'm always looking for something a little more unexpected. And you're going to hear that a lot in, in some of the repertoire that I want to share with you is, is, have I seen this before? And it doesn't mean that I haven't seen it before because we've probably seen everything before and everything has been photographed already, but they haven't been photographed by you. And, and that's what like our fingerprints and our souls and our being gives us a, a different perspective on everything that we do and that we see. Um, but I felt that the, as beautiful and, and, and probably as, as exciting as I would have felt, I live right here on the Housatonic River, I, I see a, a river scene like this all the time, um, I, and it's beautiful and I take pictures of it too whenever I walk the, the, the giant four-legged gorilla along, along the banks of the river. Um, and I take a picture of it and I go, okay, it's a picture of a river and it's pretty and it's reflecting and it's pretty and I got to move on, right? And, and, and so it's a beautiful picture of a river, but does it take me someplace I haven't been? And now the challenge that I want to give to you or really the love I want to give to you when you're looking through the camera or looking on the monitor, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter what camera you're using. So sick and tired of answering questions on Instagram. What camera do you use? What camera do you use? Like, <laughs> brushes, you know, soup spoons, you know, I, I cook a soup, right? It's not about the spoon, it's the soup uh, and, and the love you give to it. But I, and I don't want to know who took the pictures. If you want to tell me, that's fine. Uh, but when you're, whoever the fellow human being is who was here along this river, wherever it is, look at it and go, how do I take this further? Where do I, you know, stretch myself, my being into beyond the beauty of nature, right? It's a gift that's being given to you. Nature's giving you this. You didn't do anything. Uh, you're, you're there recording it. And, and really in everything that we do, it's not about us. It's about every element that's presented to us. But it's a, it's a beautiful picture of a river. Um, the, the park bench, um, I, I thought was, a, you know, I don't know if the green toning added anything to it, sort of really neither here nor there. Um, I do love it. It's a pretty picture of a bench with leaves on it and, you know, the interesting lighting. But, and I love the handle in the background on some little you know, secret trap door that's back there. But in the universe of, the essence of the universe, it's a picture of a bench. And, and I don't know if I would do much of a different picture either. Maybe I, I really don't know and it really is irrelevant. But, um, but it is beautifully toned and presented and blah, 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 blah. 
but in in the big scope of everything it's a picture of a bench and and nothing wrong with that but it's beautiful but what i had a hard time with uh, is i just absolutely love these tree shadows and how the this photographer um you know saw the absolute mundane this is a lot like you know my 24 windows story that everywhere around us is something magical something unexpected some piece of poem uh, that is that is presenting itself and you know i don't know if it's a warehouse i know i have some stuff stored at a storage unit in lee uh, is this somebody's back home? I don't really know. I don't really care. But I just absolutely was enthralled that this photographer, this person, felt this and saw it and embraced it. And, you know, if you really, really, really wanted to get picky and there's nothing unethical with it uh, in the journalism world or in any world of whatever, uh, you know, maybe do, you know, uh, a cute. Uh, vertical and horizontal uh, corrections of the lines of uh, of the buildings because everything is what's called in carpentry plumb or you know 90 degree perpendicular lines and, and, and vertical and horizontal lines uh, that would have added a little more of a pinchiness to it of like oh wow that's the you know perfection of imperfection here um, but the other frame of uh, if we go back to grid mode here Oh, and before you do that real quick, I just uh -huh. want to mention that this image, uh, and I'm mentioning more for them than for you, this is Shadow Doors, honorable mention. Uh, 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 I wanted to give it a, a, I almost wanted to give it the, -da 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 -da. <laughs> but, uh, but th there was something about, if we go into the other one, um, this one, this, yeah, this sort of, you know, other than the the left side of the frame being sort of a lot of blackness of the presumably a teacher shirt or whatever there's a lot of layers to it and a lot of it's it's truly a moment right like like if that boy and i love that only his ear is showing maybe it could have been slightly more i don't know what it would be like if his whole you know profile was showing but um, but there was just there's just a lot of layers and complexity and meaning to it. And if we have to do you know a da 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 da, um, whoever took this picture, you know, really saw a moment was there. And this is truly one of these in all the history that ever was, and in all the history that'll ever come this will never happen again and, and really every photograph is that even the you know the river or the park bench or or the the shadows on the building um and so this one just sort of again in the near impossibility of saying this is the frame um this one just sort of encapsulated the elements of if we have to talk about photography um all the nuances and energy and power and meaning that takes place in all that ever was and all that'll ever be will never happen again uh, you know cartier Bressant said you know the typifying moment or whatever the hell it was um you know sure however you want to call it um but, and there's something about something very earnest in the girl's eyes um, the, the, the other girl with the glasses on and, and everybody's layered really well. Um, you know, there's no elbows coming out of anybody's heads or weird, you know, street poles coming through somebody's back or anything. So again, if you go back to grid, uh, it, it's, it could have been any one of these. And, uh, and it was a real, you know, thumb wrestle with my right arm and my, my, my left thumb and my right thumb. Uh, over the the shadowed building because of that silent poetry was so loud um it really could have been any one of these right and, and so i hope that that shed some insight into that i'm, I'm not leaving you but uh, elf is ringing the the outside bell and i gotta bring her back in so hold on a second okay All right and in case anyone was wondering this image is our winner in monochrome it's David Simmons, first day of school. Oh, wow, that's a sweet thing, first day of school. That's right. You know, I, I didn't look at the titles when you 
I mean, I did, I think, afterwards, because I think they were sort of smooshy on top of, of the pictures in some way. Um, but uh, but I look at the image, and, uh, and, and that's all that matters to me. Okay, what was this category? I remember something about this. But... Okay, and as we're doing these categories, I figure out which mouse goes to which computer. <laughs> Got two did that help, by the way? Did that help anything yeah. on, on how I'm expressing it with the, the black and whites? Yes, that, that was very helpful. Well, none actually, John, none of, none of the images are mine, and I've been taking notes. Oh, okay. Well, then I didn't insult you then. For no. <laughs> <laughs> I just insulted four other people or five other people. <laughs> no, if you get oh, oh, believe me. We're used to it. <laughs> <laughs> if you get insulted, you can't be in the game. Oh, okay. It's constructive criticism. It's not insults. No, well, that's it's, right. It, it's more that's about right. giving love because there's nothing right and nothing wrong. It, it, that's true. Depends okay. on what you want. So John, in answer to your question, this next category is the color print regular. What the uh, does color print regular, regular mean over just the color? I mean, <laughs> physically somebody had to print it? Um, at the beginning of the year, they were prints. At the end of the year, we kind of went to prints, quote unquote, uh, because we couldn't really meet in person to do at that point. So, uh, what, so what was this about? Was this like looking at the quality of the printing or looking at the quality of the image or both? Because I just saw everything digital. It, it, okay. uh, it was the image. Oh, okay. It, the image uh, okay. Uh, and just so you know what I did with the, okay, I just did two images as I'm pointing at the screen. Um, I did two images in red for the boundary around them. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Those are going to be the ones that were either honorable mention or the, the winner. Just so you know when you're looking at the meta glance. Oh, you're cheating. You're giving us a little sneaky peedy of what. So what is that, John? I missed it. But if it's labeled in with red. Um, oh, I got it. Okay. The boundary, the little click thing here. Uh, okay. Those are going to be the honorable mentions or the, the winner for the category. Okay. Just if you wanted to do those first or last or however you wanted to do those. So what are we doing here? Are you going to show them? Or do we just go one? Do you just go through it, or um, we can just go through it? If oh, nah. I totally forgot what we just. Oh, because these guys don't have your little stars and your little asterisks going on. Right. Um, so which was I, which? I can't remember anymore. I know this was. I, I know obviously the the red highlighted ones were something. Well, what we can do also, if we start the slideshow, I can pause it on the, when I let me get to the first one. Why are, oh, duh, because we're in random order. One sec, get rid of random order. <laughs> now we're good. I mean, I can go to my email and, and pull up what I told you. But... <laughs> okay, so now when we go through, you can tell by the lower. Oh, oh it's over there. Okay, so you, yep. you got the asterisk or the um the asterisk for honorable mention, the star for the winner. Got it. And then the titles underneath. And if it's a winner, or honorable mention, I'll also be just announcing to the group who the photographer was. Oh, now we're gonna know. Um, I can do that after you do your description, though, or your feedback. Susan Smith PC wrote something to somebody. No, Frida, you were just outside, you goofball. <laughs> All right, I got to go let her out again. You guys take a look. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's not telling us to take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the case, and the dog is the excuse. So, is this an honorable mention? Please, please, so put this, your, please put your mics on uh, mute when John comes back because otherwise we can hear all the background noise. Okay, did anything happen? We're still there on the side. No, no. Could you go back to the other screen? Oh, yeah, sorry. I had clicked. So John, John, yes. these these five uh, are all in the regular group prints, right? Correct. The, the five you just showed. Okay. 
And as soon as you're ready, John, just let me know when you're ready. Oh, for oh, 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 we're talking about them now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you want me to do? Is that what we're doing? Yep. And um, when you're done talking about an image, just tell me to go to the next one and I'll move on ahead. Oh, can we do, did you go through them all? Because I, I like to do this in grid mode, if that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. I thought you were doing this so that you could show who won what or whoever, who got a star and there you go. Now that's got an asterisk. Oh, well, I, I can show that now and then we can go back to the grid. Mode. That's going to help remind me what, what, what I did last week. Okay, fair enough. All right. So here, of course, we have Sidecar. Is an honorable mention, Gene Driscoll. Is showing the images, and as it gets to the right ones, I'm not going the whole time because that'll get a little bit lengthy when we get to the other categories. So this is Liquid Gold, the winner in regular Gene Driscoll. And back. Gene's on fire with this collection here. Uh, yeah. um, okay, so uh, I, I remember this and, and now I'm gonna be a little hard in, in love and kindness uh, and more love than anything of being hard. Um, I, I can't say that I was deeply moved by any of these. Um, uh, they were nice moments. Um, I'll, I'll talk about the others since we're in grid mode. The, the fiesta or what looks to be uh, a, a entrance of a home or a hotel or whatever in somewhere in Latin America, Central South America, um, it's a picture of an entrance of a home in Latin or Central or South America or in the Berkshires who just happens to be able to grow tropical plants. I don't know. Um, and, uh, it, and what would otherwise look like Tibetan, you know, prayer flags are some sort of, you know, the cutouts of a ceremony or something of the culture. Um, it, I, this is again, what I was trying to share before to go beyond the obvious and to look for unexpected. I like the lines here. I do like the blue staircase line and the plants and so that's so, you know, the photographer's thinking. Um, but in the universe of it all, it, it, it's not sort of slamming me against the floor and, and making me go into convulsions of a place I, I, I want to be taken to, not because I want to go there on holiday, but I'm talking about visually and spiritually. The colors are a little bit um, uh, are all over the place. Uh, they're almost too eye candy-ish. Um, uh, but that's sort of a whatever. Um, a nice picture, but let's be honest, it, it, it's a nice picture of an entrance of a, a, you know, Latin American, Southern Caribbean, whatever, um, home. Um, the next one, because since the leading to, oh, the hummingbird, you know, it, when you start getting into wildlife photography, the bar is so high, and I don't expect you guys to be Net, you know, Nat Geo wildlife photographers, but the focus is more on the, the, the hummingbird feeder and not on the hummingbird. Um, the flash is a little distracting where my eye goes to the hot spot on the hummingbird feeder more than anything else. Um, I suppose maybe you have to use a flash to get a, you know, it's, it's very, very backlit. So obviously this feeders hanging somewhere where it's, you know, brighter in the background and darker in the foreground, whether it's a porch or whether it's under a tree, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, it's a nice, it's a picture of a hummingbird um, and, uh, and it's not really in focus and, uh, and it's a picture of a hummingbird. Um, the, the, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. I mean, holy crap, a hummingbird's there. I'd be going berserky too. Um, I'd probably do a slow motion video of it uh, just because it, it's so trippy and weird to see what hummingbirds do when they're doing it at a bajillion times a second. Um, uh, the next image, you can just uh, arrow forward or to the right. Yeah. Um, uh, cabbage. Um, it, in all love and kindness, it, it, it's a picture of a cabbage. <laughs> right? You know. Um, it's a picture of a cabbage and nothing wrong with it, 
but it's a picture of a cabbage. And, uh, and I just don't know if we're being taken somewhere beyond the, I see the art of it, of course, and the design and the beauty and all the natural elements and the texture and all the other nuances, but it's a picture of a cabbage. And, uh, and it's in color, you know, okay. Um, and then the next frame is? Well, we've got two left, and this was the honorable mention. No, then you have, you missed the, the sunset. Da, 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 da. Well, well, that's the first place. Yeah, and then, so first place, um, it, 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 this is where I said all of them, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, but we're gonna, oh, I see what you mean. I know what you were just doing. Honorable, I see what you're doing, okay. Okay, I see the six half dozen of another. We can do uh, it in either order, but. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're right. I understand, I now I understood what you're doing. We're trying to build up to the timpanies roaring here. <laughs> um, the, so uh, I'm not big into sunsets and, and yeah. nothing against sunsets, but they're all just pretty. And, and I don't try to think of everything as, you know, has to be a National Geographic. Uh, and I do, I guess, photograph sunsets sometimes, um, but more just sort of like for fodder for my brain. Um, it's a pretty picture of a sunset. And because we had a cabbage, a hummingbird, and a front entrance of a Latin American home, I wanted to, you know, I guess my purpose was to choose something, right? Um, and I was torn here between this one and the, the, the kind gentleman in the sidecar or, or, or in, the, in the electronic cart. I went with this just because it was the category of color printing or whatever it was, whatever the category it was. And in that, it vaulted this one up, even though it's a picture of a sunset and a bit of a bow of a boat and hills and mountains and da 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 da. So uh, to challenge every one of us here to go further is to look beyond that, oh my God, isn't this an amazing sunset? And oh my God, there's a bow of a boat here. And oh my God, there's hills and, you know, alleys and whatnot before me, there's got to be something more. Now, I wasn't there, but I just think there has to be something more. Um, what it is, I don't know, because I wasn't there. But I would ask for all of us, including myself, when we're in any situation to go deep within ourselves and find something magical and unexpected in these spaces and not just the, oh my gosh, it's the sunset. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm trying to not, not, not say there's anything wrong with it, but in the big conjugation of the square root of three, which is impossible to give you an answer to, this stops pretty quick as one plus one equals two. It's a sunset, but it's pretty. Um, the other one of the other gentlemen, um, uh, this one, you know, I didn't choose this one as the first one, but I sort of weirdly liked it more uh, because I was under the impression of a color category or something to do with color or whatever. And hold on two seconds. Uh, give me a second because I think Fried is doing something. <laughs> There's something implied in this photo as well, so. Yes, yeah. something implied or applied? No, implied. Yes, implied yeah. With the empty chair, yeah. Yeah, I mean, th there's also just, you know, a, a, an enormous amount of humility, and, and it could be any one of us being this gentleman sitting there, and the, the sterility of these, you know, um, hospitals or nursing homes or, you know, whatever kind of home mm -hmm. um, that, that sort of saddens me that this is, you know, we're, we're born children and we die children. Uh, and and this is where you want to be when you take your last breath. You know, I, I don't know if I want to be there. I'd rather just fall apart somewhere in the house of 24 windows, I guess. But there, <laughs> there, there's something about this, this hallway in its almost shining red drum strangeness and the and the and the sort of like grayish bluish sections and the only reason why I didn't I, I actually really like this frame again because of his humility it's, it's and, like the green mile yeah exactly and 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 yes the metaphors of the two chairs I mean I don't know I don't look at titles of things because I look at the image and whatever it's sort of like the New York Times the the, the New Yorker 
uh, caption this cartoon, right? Uh, uh, give the image and have somebody, you know, the cartoon, have somebody, you know, 5,000 people on Instagram, you know, give you an answer, you're going to get 5,000 different things. Uh, ask everybody to interpret this image and you're going to get, you know, the same amount of things. So I, lo I look at what, what's pouring from the image. Um, and the only reason why I didn't choose it as number one, and maybe now when I look at the sunset, and it's the same photographer, so we're, we're giving love in double doses here. Um, in some ways, maybe I would make this one number one, because the other one's just a bloody, in kindness, a, a, a picture of a sunset. Uh, this one, there's just a lot of kindness and, and strangeness and, oh my goshness, let this guy be at home with his family, not in this place. And and uh or you know maybe he's happy here i really don't know um and it, it and it's just weird and and i like weird and i like the, <laughs> that, 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 that there's something special about him and he's just a little boy he's a little boy it's just so magical so that's my two indonesian rupiah which is less than one tenth of one penny Okay, so next we will be going to Color Print Advanced. So what does Color Print Advanced? I mean, so that's why I kept getting confused. These were um, we so just call we have, it color, right? So we have two different categories for the members as far as regular and advanced, as far as um, in general skill level. So you don't have somebody who just got their first camera competing against somebody who's like setting up galleries and whatnot. Oh, uh, okay. I kind of uh, what you mean, but okay. So oh, it's not good and bad? <laughs> the blur. <laughs> can you um, make the thumbnails a little bit smaller so we can see them all as one grid? I, there's a, uh, <clears throat> on, on, yeah, there we go. We can do that. Um, and I'll just announce the, you know, the honorables and the winners as we get to them. Uh, and, I don't know why that one was already marked. I'm on two separate computers. <laughs> one has the images and one has my spreadsheet. So. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to remember. And then there's another one, like the baby car seats, blue. Okay. So when we get to those ones, I'll mention those ones. But do I just go straight through or yeah sure what the heck well, uh, okay so so go back to grid for a second so i don't totally goof up and look like an absolute goofball um I, i'm presuming that the 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 top two are eight and ten is that correct correct and the blue ones are just randomly blue because they're blue so I wasn't even seeing that they were blue. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So we'll 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 chug it on through. Um, uh, so, you know, I remember this. Yeah, it was. A, this was a bit of a toughie because I did like number eleven, but then I remember letting it go. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's go through this. I get it now. Um, uh, advanced color, not advanced color, whether you got a gallery or whether you are on Mars, you know, printing. I don't really know. I don't really care. Um, uh, it, it's, it, in, and this is, again, I want to give this as love to all of you, not criticism. When you go to some place, uh, I don't know if we're in Greece, we could be in, maybe not in Bangladesh, but could be, no, because there's no ocean in Bangladesh. Um, but we're somewhere along a coast. Uh, maybe in Europe, maybe not, uh, maybe in Greece. Um, it is a picture, and I understand the two blue chairs and the blue um, patio thingies in the background. It's a picture of, you know, two blue chairs amongst some white chairs at white tables with some Moroccan or Italian or Greek buildings in the background on the Mediterranean. I don't know where it is. It doesn't really matter. Oh, Mykonos. There it is. Mykonos by the sea. Duh. It is Greece. Um, in all kindness, it, it's not taking me someplace that throws me again into convulsions. And not that every image does that. I know my pictures of windows because I'm stuck here and, and can't go to any airports or, or, or get visas. 
um, uh, the, it's a picture of two, two chairs. And, and if you're gonna do this and, and do it, right, I'd be walking along and I may go, holy crap, look at these two blue chairs. But then I'm gonna sort of like maybe freak out on, and go into a trance on composition and things, whether I need a sense of place, I'm sure that is helpful. Um, and I'm rambling here, but it, it's two chairs. A horizon line is off. I don't really care if things are tilted or not, but it, it, it either tilt it like crazy and make it, you know, like Batman's in a fight and they're going pow and they become, you know, cartoon characters and everything tilts or, you know, watch your horizons and, and make it that painful perfection of imperfection. And it's a picture of some chairs in medium okay light. Um, next one. Um, you know, it, it, this is again with like the hummingbird, um, it, it, it's, it's a picture of a macro of a bee and it's really cool and it's an interesting picture of a bee um but at the end of the day it's a picture of a bee and maybe you know, if it was printed darker i don't know you know again it's like it's a nice picture of a bee and i want to give the champagne bottles bursting to this and even to the mykonos chairs just because why not right but in the big <laughs> scope of things, it's a picture of a bee. And, 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 I, and, I'm, and I'm saying that so that when you are looking and getting excited about a picture of a bee, which you should, um, find a way to see it beyond just a picture of a bee. How you do that, I don't know, right? They don't photograph insects. Um, but uh, a lot of people do, and they take the universe of visual communication of insects and transport us into places that we didn't expect of that bee, or that cockroach, or that beetle, or that butterfly, or whatever it may be. Um, uh, so, you know, it's a pretty picture of a bee. And I'm glad you got a macro lens. Okay, make it unbelievable, shad my pants like I never did before, a picture of a bee. And, and you know, and, and I mean to be that, you know, comical and silly and, and I mean to be rude. But I want you to be it was, thinking. It was taken with a 500 millimeter lens. <laughs> I, I don't care if it was taken with a, you know, the millimeter lens or a one millimeter lens. I it, understand. It, it, it's, a, it's a picture of a bee. Yes, you're right. It, 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 when we get into like what, and, I'm not, and I mean this in love, it, you know, 500 millimeter, one millimeter, whatever, whatever. It's like, well, what did you write that thesis with? A number two pencil or a number three? <laughs> no, I know. You know it's I like, like I, I don't care. I care what you write. I know. It's not a macro lens. That's all. Oh yeah. No, I mean whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Um, you know, really picture. You know, picture again a, a bit like the the one of the Latin American hacienda flags and stuff on the wall. Um, nice picture of architecture as if you went to Prague or some European city or some place that had some European influences. Um, and it's a pretty picture of, you know, gold embossed thingamajiggies and some plants on a tree and a rubbish bin and a staircase and number 18 and a lion, you know, knocker on it and some reflections on a glass. Um, and in color, it's well printed, I guess. Yeah, it looks fine. But in the big universe of things, again, it's a picture of a door. Uh, and, and if you take a one- A door that I would like to live behind. What's that, sorry? A door that I would like to live behind. Oh, absolutely, sure. And Maybe then, take the gold off, but I love that house. Yeah, I know, it's beautiful. And then you gotta maintain it, right? <laughs> so That's it's, true, but if I can live there, I'll be rich enough to have a maid. There you go, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, owner over servant's doorway. Oh, I see, okay. I mean, it really, you know, titles again are really pretty to have, but I'm looking squarely at the image. And it's a, take one, maybe if you guys have ever been in one of my workshops when the gallery was up and running, or if you ever go to my others, you, you'll hear me say, uh, you know, take a picture of a doorknob and it's a picture of a doorknob. Take a picture of, you know, 500 doorknobs and it becomes an art project. And, and in this case, it's a picture of a door. As pretty as it be, as much as I, you know, necessarily want to live there, I don't know. Um, it's a picture of a door. Um, this is a bit like the hummingbird and the bumblebee, and it's a bit more exotic of an animal, and and 
and, and it's beautifully photographed for what it is, just like the bumblebee was also. And, and, and if the hummingbird had been in focus and without the flash, I, I think it would have had that sort of, you know, really wonderful picture of a hummingbird. Um, in the big scope of things, it is an animal of some sort. Oh, there it is, called a red panda. Um, and it's beautifully done, one millimeter, 50 million millimeter lens, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Uh, I like all the sort of like bugs or sparkly things above the, the, the little buddy's you know, head and the tree and the nature and wow, I've never seen this animal up close this way before. But in the big scope of things, it's a picture of a red panda up close. This gets into um, the black and white that we had of the river um, uh, that is really pretty and nothing wrong with it. And it is a gorgeous picture. All these pictures are fine, right? You guys, for whatever reason, wanted me to go through, uh, through your work and to give you thoughts and feelings and essences. Um, they're all pretty. Every photograph that, that I saw here was all mighty fine. Um, are we going somewhere beyond, I'm walking along a river, maybe this is our Housatonic, maybe it's one of the other umpteen rivers in the Berkshires, maybe it's in Siberia, I don't know. Yeah, uh, it, was, it, it was submitted for a particular category which was called reflections, right? Oh, but this is not in the reflection category, this is in color or something or another, I don't know. Um, but it, it, looking at it as the image, it's a beautiful picture of reflections. How do we go beyond it? You know, I don't know. Um, but I do know when I walk along the Housatonic River here, which is literally 100 feet from me, um, I film and photograph the reflections, you know, all the time too. Um, and, and I'll play with it out of focus. Um, usually I'm doing it because I love to do these things, these little stories called Instagram stories. Uh, I love to communicate, I love to create, everything interests me, everything is like overwhelmingly fascinating. But I like to, maybe just inherently, I, 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 I'm drawn into the non-obvious of a situation. And if I can share some, you know, lifting and giving to whoever took this picture, when you go photograph a, a river and there are reflections or they're not reflections or whatever it is, challenge yourself or give to yourself when you look through the camera and you see this, put your camera down and go, there's more. You know, th there's more, there has to be more. Give to yourself and give to the majesty that's in front of you and become silent in what you expect and look for the unexpected because it's there. It, 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 but you have to find it in yourself and you have to find what's being given to you beyond the obvious. And so it's a pretty picture of a river with reflections. It's not epic. It's not like, oh my God, right? It, 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 it's, it's, it's pretty. It has to do with time of day. You know, it could be fun. Like, like go, can you go back to that one, John? Um, we always think that everything has to be bright and shiny and, you know, da, 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 da. and we're sort of at this point where fall has already passed, but there's one or two straggler honors here that are trying to hold off or maybe it's not fall it's the beginning of spring i don't know whatever it is um it, but like really underexposed you know where it's all really muted and dark soupy colors is a if you're going to photograph it literally is a is a could be a nice interesting way to present you know go there right before it gets completely dark and now with our cameras that can see in total darkness, go there in the total dark and, and you know, if you have to even use a tripod, um, you'll be amazed by the, 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 the majesty that, that, that comes when in lighting that isn't what you would expect. Um, this is a, another one of these pictures of a door. Um, I'm interested in the locks that somebody's either doing like in Paris, uh, I've even seen it in Boston, you know, where everybody now has to have because it started in Paris along the Seine of you know, putting love padlocks on the doors or on fences. Somebody went absolutely berserk putting you know, locks on a door that you could easily 
breakdown and walk through. Um, it, it, it's a picture of a door and I understand it. You know, I would love to see like what's through those busted holes of it, maybe a detail of a lock. There, there's a whole story in this busted wall with door attempting to hold people back in. Um, it, it, it's just sort of compositionally, uh, would be interesting maybe to see what it looks like coming straight at it. Um, you'd maybe lose the mountains, I don't know. Um, Santorini, oh, now we're in Italy. Um, and uh, the lighting is a little harsh. Um, it's almost kind of there, but there's there's got to be more. Um, in in deepest of of of, I want to hold you and not say anything wrong, but it, it, it's a picture of a baby seat in the back of a car. Uh, John, could I make a comment here? Sure. Yeah. Uh... If you look at the title, gone before you know it. This was this was in the category our competition was called empty chairs. And oh, okay. But see, I'm looking at it under the basis of this category. Right. So, so the implication is that when you open the door and a little child jumps out, they're gone fast. But in life, they're gone fast as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in okay, I get it. Um, but I'm looking at the photography, not the title, and not that it was right, right, you know, right. brought into a category earlier in the year, and this is the pied de resistance, and everything is you know culminating together in the big brouhaha at the end of the year, uh, or, or whatever the cycle is. Um, it's a picture of an empty chair. Yes, I understand. Yep. And, uh, and hold on a second. Hey, Richard, are you here? Oh, hey, are we, did you let Elf in? Oh, sorry, I'm on a Zoom call here. That's all right, she's fine, she's wet, and it's lovely. Hey, Dave. Yeah, she's had a good time. You know what I wish I had a picture of was a picture of you oh, taking you this picture? You. Because it looks like you shot it down through the sunroof or something. Yeah. It does. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I get all the implications, and, and, and uh, so... And I, and I get it. So if I'm going to read, you know, Gone Before You Know It and Empty Chair. Yeah, yeah. But in the, in, in the collection of images that were here, um, it, it comes in as a picture of, a, of an empty chair. Next we have Now Only Shapes. This was first place, John Mathis. So, um, uh, I am not a big fan, and so, John, this is your picture, so I, I guess I'll talk with you here. Um, uh, I'm not a big fan of silhouettes, and so you're going to wonder why in the world did I choose this? Um, <laughs> just because everything looks interesting as a silhouette. But because there's so many birds, and because that one little, little you know, one there is, is spreading its wings, and, and the other ones are down below and the strangeness of the lines and the different gradations of the, of the sky, presumably at sunset. I mean, it, it, the colors are a little bit augmented because it is silhouetted, and, uh, uh, but not augmented in a cartoon networking, silly sort of way. Um, there was just something about this. And I remember as we continue on, I think one or two frames over, the other one that I chose, I was sort of jumping back and forth, and then I went with, um, uh, oh, I remember, can you go to grid, hit, hit the G mode? Uh, uh, th there's another category or group of pictures coming up uh, where another blur is, is, is involved, and I didn't want to just choose blurry pictures. You'll see here, see the red one there. Um, uh, so anyway, so I, I went with that one uh, because there's some, intelligent thought going on here, composition, um, and you actually made a silhouette work that, that otherwise would just be a, a silhouette. Um, this is in, in the color category, um, really beautiful. I thought the colors were a little bit, at least on my monitor, they're, they're, they're a bit oversaturated, um, um, but, and I'm just, I'm going to say this a lot because I wanted to have a dialogue with all of you to go beyond in the scope of, 
it's like it's like food, right? It, it, you you go and you cook it yourself, or you go to a restaurant, uh, and you go for this experience, right? And and, and that either you can't cook at home, or you can cook yourself, and you give flavor and love to this bowl of stir fried vegetables, right? And uh, and taking it to a a, a, a bowl of stir fried vegetables to another level than just, here's some olive oil, you know, a pinch of salt and, and some garlic. Um, and how you do that is, what, is how you look at the vegetables and all the layers of it, the heat, the pot, the, the love, the time, the essence of everything. And so it's not just a bowl of vegetables. And here is the beautiful flower, a tiger lily, um, and it's a pretty, picture of the tiger lily, but it's a picture of a tiger lily. Now, how do you take pictures of a tiger lily beyond to become some epic stir fried pot of, you know, plate of vegetables that you've never experienced before? I'm not a flower photographer or botany photographer, but when I see pictures of flowers, and it doesn't have to be like, you know, um, orchids that have that sensualness to it. I get so bored of looking at it. It's like, oh, look at the sensual or orchid. I mean, take me someplace I haven't been before, right? And so when you see flowers, I want you to like space out on it and trip out on it and go absolutely berserk about it, but go beyond just the flower, if you can. And, and that's how you find almost the meaning of life by going beyond the obvious. Because we can all, and, and not that it's one better than the other, but it, it's pretty simple to take a pretty picture of a flower. Because flowers are pretty. Next we have Dreamy Fall Drive, honorable mention, Lynn O'Connell. Uh, so I just love this one, and I, I shared a bit more about why I went with the, a little more complexity or the, the essence of the birds. Um, you know, it's unfortunate there's electrical uh, cable or, or two electrical poles on the road and a mailbox and whatever. But I'm just happy, and this is where you still want to go beyond all this and you're, I've forgotten the photographer's name, uh, but who, is the photographer here on, on the call? Yeah, that's me. Oh, oh hey, Lynn. Yeah, okay. So, um, you know, I, I'm just glad that you're seeing this way. And I'm just glad that you're, you know, driving down dreamy fall drive road or, or wherever the, irrelevant what the name of the road is and, and that you're not photographing fall foliage of you know the jigsaw puzzle pictures that we see gazillion times over in a you know a, a covered bridge over a river and bridges of madison county and romance and you know cutter, <laughs> whatever. It, 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 that, that you're actually like you know ate a bunch of psychedelic mushrooms and you had some fun is that what happened? You mean, no. <laughs> we all I thought you were just trying to focus, learn to focus. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. She's totally tripping out. And, and, and I'm loving it. <laughs> and, and I love it. You know, I, I mean, you know, I would say to do a, I did a whole story on the uh, not a whole story, the, the whole project that was an exhibition that should be a book one of the these days, if I get my head out of my rear end, that everything that I'm doing of, of trees in motion. And, uh, and so maybe that also spoke to me on this. But I'm just glad that you're not photographing it for here's some trees. Uh, Thank and, you. And, 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 you know, the next time, and when it doesn't have to be fall foliage season, it could be dead of winter, it could be the garishness of summer, whatever. Um, uh, see if you can find a, tr a road that doesn't have all the the human impediments that, 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 that have you know, uh, been propped up so that we're just you know, encapsulated in the nature. And I probably would have given this one first place if it, if, if it wouldn't have been for the, the, the telephone poles and that there's this other blur thing, beautiful image coming up later that is just gorgeousness. And I wanted to share some perspectives of not just that everything is psychedelic mushrooms. Um, so this was really pretty, and 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 um, you know, it almost looked like it was a bit overworked. I mean, uh, and I don't mind it, but we used to call it in the wet dark room the hand of God printing, 
where you arc welded and burn so much the sky that it could be bright sunny day out and photographers in the dark room would arc weld the sky as if it was Armageddon in the background and uh, and and I know what a storm looks like and uh, if the sky was really that dark I would be going like holy crap Bruce hey holy cow <laughs> Linda <laughs> is the world coming to an end look at this you know, uh, uh, and then if you are going to play Armageddon, you better do it well because up in the upper upper left hand corner, your the burning uh, is landing over the trees, and uh, and the desaturation is is playing up in there, and it looks like there was some desaturation. I don't really care about you know manipulation at this point for especially for this kind of stuff. I mean, it, it matters and. and the work that I do, if it's you know, journalism-y stuff. But um, uh, it, it's a nice moment, but there's a lot of, in the end, pull back all of the, the, hand, the hand touching that's been here, and it's a picture of an old weathered barn in snow. And you know, it's a really pretty picture, and I, I do love these kind of moments. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty picture. It's a pre it almost looks set up, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. But it's it it it's just overly drippy, pretty, and uh, and I can't remember what this category was anymore. But it's a pretty picture, and there's nothing wrong with it. And whoever took this picture, love it because it's a beautiful picture of I presume a, a mom and daughter. Um, and these are cherished moments, and both of you are, are you know, playing princesses and what have you, what have you. But in the big, and then there's like some weird burning and dodging that, that, that is going around the head and everything else. It's not, I wouldn't say it's weird, but uh, it, it's just a little too much of like a, a and nothing wrong with it, but a, a, a really interesting Valentine's Day card image or a, you know, a, uh, it's, it's, it's very pretty for the person who took this picture or the people that are in the picture as a memory of this time of their kids and it's a little stylized and whatever, but it's, that's what it is. And we're on to digital regular, just have the digitals left. Um, How do you guys come up with all these category names. What's a digital regular as compared to a digital irregular? I uh, want to do the irregular category. It's the regular group and the advanced group. So mm. in color prints, there's regular and advanced and digital, there's regular and advanced. And then monochrome, there's, there's not really enough submissions in monochrome anymore to mm. justify having two separate groups. You have like one submission. <laughs> Okay. You don't have these labeled, so either you have some star or asterisks in the slideshow. They never are. Okay. Yep. How many more do we have after this? Because I, I am realizing I may have to go here, and I, you guys wanted me to share some stuff with you, and we're going to... Okay, so... Time. But I, I think this kind of dialogue is, I hope, is, has this been helpful so far? I mean, am I... Am I trying to lift you guys? I'm not trying to hit Very you. helpful. Totally love it. Thank you. There's a, lot to, there's a lot to be gained from this, John, because it takes us beyond the competitions that we actually have to why we make the photographs in the first place. And it's great to make family things. I mean, we all do them. But then if we want to go beyond the family work into something more, yeah. I find it very valuable. OK. I mean, it's, uh, and then it, maybe we'll just do like a, a brief Q&A just because I am not going to have enough time to do a desktop screen share and go through a whole National Geographic assignment of you know, 15, 20,000 images and, and wander you through how all of that goes. And you've got, yeah. Okay, so, so I'm remembering now. Red and red. I'm remembering what this was. So I think uh, the dun -da 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 is the flying bird in blue. Is that correct? Correct. That and, is uh, the, by Susan Lynch. Well, uh, Susan Lynch Smith. 
Well, I, I'm just loving Susan Lynch Smith's picture here because I want to talk about that. And then the honorable um, uh, mention he won is the, the, the I love that. Wife. They don't live here anymore by okay. Christina Chevalier. Okay, so I, I, I do have issues here and I'm, that, I, I, that I want to look at all of these. I, I, I'll be honest, I, I remember now this, I really wanted to choose the red flowers and the egret, um, but then I felt, again, I'm, I'm like wanting everybody to, to be drug addicts and, uh, and not anything else. Um, but, uh, okay, so we, we, we can go through this. Is there a way um, in, in, in albums, if you're in an album, you can take the two red guys and drag them to the end. Highlight both of them. Yeah, you're in you're in a cat. Oh, oh no, you're in folders. No, you can't move them then. Can you do that? Option key will it go. I can. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So so drag drag those two to the end and uh, okay. Voila. Okay. So then we'll then just start on f mode you know the full frame or whatever it is uh, okay from the beginning or yeah i'll just chug through it because i, I want to give love to, to everybody here okay so this gets into this mantra that you're going to hear me say until i you know lose all consciousness here and, and and i want you all to be not just better photographers because all of you are good i want you to be inspired and amazed by everything around you and this it's, it, in all kindness is a picture of a boat in severe ghastly light and that's what it is it's a picture of a boat in ghastly overhead light and uh, uh i just think you could do more i don't want to know who took the picture or you can and tell me and i'd say hey you know i'll go with you on here and let's either photograph this boat or not and find something else um, because it's a picture of a boat in ghastly light. Um, a, a very pretty scene somewhere in Amsterdam or somewhere in Europe. I don't know if we have anything like this in North America. Um, I obviously, maybe this falls into like the other picture of along the river with trees and color of reflections, and this has been pulled together from the previous thing you guys did in the earlier of the year of reflections. Um, it, it's a beautiful picture of reflections, just like the trees, right? So how do you make it more interesting? And you know, why am I saying that it's not up there like the egret or whatever? I don't know. It's subjective, right? But if I need the Loch Ness monster moving through here, right? And 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 otherwise, it's a pretty picture of reflections in a canal. How do you make it further? How do you go with it? I don't know. I I look at this stuff and I go, oh, that's pretty, and I take a picture of it and then I move on, and, and or I don't take a picture of it and it's for the the slideshow of my mind. Um, so when you are in these situations, photograph them and tone them well. I see that whoever did this, you know, brought out the reflections eloquently in the water and didn't make it too, you know, ghastly brighter or anything like that. Um, but when I, and I get into these situations a lot, I'll be working on a project here, I've been photographing these windows, gosh, I'm losing all my light. Um, uh, uh, and, um, and uh, what was I going to say? Uh, and and I'll, I'll look through and I'll be like, okay, I've done this before. And then I just you know, put it away. So uh, find these reflections. And somehow, I don't know, I can't give you an answer. There's no, I cannot tell you, I cannot teach you how to see, but I can teach you how to feel. I can give to you how to feel. And I hope in this brief moment that we're here together until we can spend a deeper immersion together in where if you can go into a situation like this and feel beyond the obvious, you'll find that your images that you take will transcend the obvious. But it's feeling. It's about, it's not about just because I'm in Europe along a cool canal and there's reflections. That's why we need the, the Loch Ness Monster going through we need you know Bigfoot wandering 
going on the sidewalk and the Bride of Frankenstein up in the window uh, and a herd of pterodactyls, a flock of pterodactyls flying in the sky. And, you know, it's never going to happen. But those moments are there if you feel. Um, again, a beautiful picture. Uh, it's just uh, misty mountains with a street sign or a railroad sign or some stick coming up. Um, and it's layered and it's pretty. But I think whoever took this picture, I think you're more than this. If you're seeing this already, you, could, you can take me further and you can take yourself further. It's beautiful, but it, 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 we, we want to be like taking places that we've never been before. We're at a point, everybody's always been a photographer. You just never saw it because we didn't have Instagram. They were in shoe boxes. Um, uh, and and, and they're, they're, so it's no different than it ever was. Uh, Instagram just allows us to, to communicate more broadly. Um, but this is somebody who's a very good photographer. They're just like waiting to burst into beyond the obvious. A bit like the rowboat in the water, um, uh, although this is a little bit more, we got the horizon. You know, it's a pretty picture of a lighthouse on a really cool rock in bad light. You know, come here at like dusk or at night and then hope a big, you know, pirate ship comes and a whale is jumping out of the water. Otherwise, it's a picture of a lighthouse. Uh, this gets into a, a lot of the doors again, and, and, and uh, I do love decay like this. I live in a house that almost is like this. Um, it reminds me of like uh, going to part of the Caucasus where you know, everything is in decay and lost in a pre and during Soviet era time, and there's so much beauty and kindness. And it's so sad that this is abandoned because I wouldn't abandon this falling apart place. But um, it's a picture of a falling apart place in sort of bad light. I like the red you know, door and the strange light bulb and the reddish whateverness of some foliage in the background and the blue trim and the cracks, yada, yada, yada. There's a way to tone this and, and make it look a little more interesting. Um, but in the big scope of the universe, you know what maybe is the picture? I don't know, I wasn't there. But is, uh, I love the crack in the background on the white wall through the window frame of the crack on the concrete and all of the strangeness that's layered in it where I don't even have to see all of the red door or even any of the red door. I, I don't know. I mean, it's the kind of thing I would come upon and I'd totally trip out and, and freak out for however long I, I, I'd be freaking out. And, and there's images there. It just doesn't have to be so literal. Look at all those stones and everything. There's a lot here. It's, it's just there needs to be more given to it. I just love this. I mean, it's sort of obvious though, but it, but I just love it. Um, and I, again, you know, everybody should win, even the rowboat and severe ghastly light. Um, but it's uh, it's some pictures of some flowers that are just gorgeousness. And I'm glad that whoever took this picture didn't photograph it like the you know, fall foliage uh, with the telephone poles and the mailbox that are gorgeous and gorgeousness is, um, I'm just glad they're not photographing this fire maple as look at these fire maples. But I, I, I didn't select it because it, 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 it spoke too much of a impressionistic thing and I wanted to give some balance because I just, that was it. Okay. Um, uh, this is a bit like the lighthouse, like the bumblebee, uh, like maybe not the bumblebee, um, uh, the boat. Uh, it's a picture of an airplane, a cool airplane. I love the number seven. I'm not so interested in the no entry active airfield. Well, no shit, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to walk out there, but um, it's a picture of an airplane and uh, it, nice that you went to an air show, but if you're going to it's pictures of air shows, man. You know, pictures of airplanes that go into a car show. It's a picture of cars. It's uh, it's Russian. It's, it's Russian military. 
play. Oh, and I dig all of that, right? You know, I, I, I should have mentioned that. Yes, I, I figured that it definitely was an American uh, plane. Yeah. Uh, but in the big universe of things, it's a picture of a Russian military airplane. It could be. It could be part of the space force. It could be, you know, part of the Jetsons too. I, I don't know, right? It's in lovingness to the photographer. It's a nice picture of an airplane, but it, it's an airplane. I mean, I love that the person, you know, followed the lines, like the white, you know, uh, runway line is perfectly, you know, skating along the lower part of the frame and all that other stuff. So somebody's obviously in tune with composition. And that's really important. And, and, uh, but it's a picture of an air show with a sign in the background. Um, a pretty picture. I should have been all over it because I'm photographing windows and that could be Elfrida the Great Dane even. Um, uh, it, it, it's just sort of, I can't remember now which ones we chose. I remember now. Um, it could have been an honorable mention. All of them could be winners even the airplane, even the rowboat, even the bumblebee. It, 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 it's just where does the, you know, the cream have a little more flavor, not where it rises higher than another. Um, it's just a pretty, it's, it's pretty, and I do like it, uh, but it's, I'm, it's, it's pretty. It also looks like it's been heavily lightened in the shadows, there's a, not that it matters, there's a way to tone it more where the, banding of, of, of noise and whatnot in the left and the right on the interior of the of the walls almost like it was lightened up too much uh, sometimes maybe having a little more darker could have could have maybe given a little more feeling it almost looks hdr-ish with a lot of banding and noise but it's a pretty picture of a, of a, of a window i do like it pepper of the barn um uh, you know, racing, stock car racing at night. It's all about the dude with the baseball hat and the lavender shirt. Um, a nice picture, but it's a nighttime thing of car racing. Uh, again, going into the doors and the, you know, this is, this is the house of 24 windows. Um, uh, what a gorgeous place. Um, but there's something more, uh, and, and I do like the reflections in the glass and, um, uh, but there's gotta be something more. And I, and I think, you know, all of you now are hearing, or I hope you're feeling what I'm sharing, what I mean by there's something more, I don't know what it is, but whoever the photographer is, I want to give you fire and I want to give you fascination to when you're in this place go absolutely berserk and and fall in love with everything about it not doesn't have to just be the door and the busted window it could be the just the broken window sill it could just be the reflections on the door you know, there's so much going on here um, but to, to make you could do a whole story about this building um, and when you do, you go into this like you know hypnotic trance. You'll you'll see how majestic and amazing it is. Beyond the obvious. Well, there's Elfrida as as a one month old. Um, uh, it's a picture of a dog at a park somewhere because there's obviously safety railings. So humans have said you shouldn't go further. And, uh, and it's a pretty picture of a dog walking on some rocks with puddles on a river. Kind of like the lighthouse, uh, it's a picture of a windmill in not so great, oh my gosh, light. So when you go to wherever, this is Denmark, Finland, wherever windmills are, I forget. Um, it, you know, look for the light. It's all about light. It's all about like finding that moment. It's not just, oh wow, look, there's a window. And the reflection, I guess this was part of that reflection thing that happened earlier in the year or whenever it was. Um, maybe it's just the reflection. Of course, I've seen that kind of stuff too a bajillion and one times. Um, maybe it's, you know, put the camera on a tripod and do multiple exposures of the reflection. So it just becomes this impressionistic 
painting of, of you know, multiple frames of ripplization of a you know, windmill. I don't know. Um, or don't even photograph it at all and find something else that has reflections. There's nothing wrong with this picture, but in the big scope of things, you know, if we sat around and didn't even have to drink beers over it, we could just be getting drunk on water. You would look at me and I'd look at you and say, it's a picture of a windmill. It's a picture of a lighthouse. And I'm being, you know, just being honest so that when you go here, you go, okay, you know, now Stan Meyer is in my head. Uh, I hope totally freaking you out in a, in a kind way. Uh, and so that you go here and you photograph this, but then you go, you know what, I'm going to go and knock on this person's door and see if I can go up in it or kind of hang out here for a while or get permission. There's some people down further by the water. So either it's a public place. Oh, it must be a public place because there's a, handicap parking if it's a private home you don't have to have a handicap parking sign up uh you know move around it, it, become intimate with it i know you you know you got the shadow of the one of the three chimneys on the lighthouse yada 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 but it's a pretty picture of a lighthouse in somewhere oh in maine okay a pretty picture of a lighthouse in maine nothing wrong with it but it's just a lighthouse um, this one drew my attention for a while, and then I had to pull myself back that this is sometimes, a, it, a, you know, credit to everybody who's taken any picture here and any photograph you've ever taken and every photograph you will take, it's that you see it, right? And, and, and you stop. But this is one of these things where you're, uh, you're, you're noticing something beyond, which is what's interesting and good and all of it's good, but in many ways, you're just photographing somebody else's art. And you're gonna say, what do you mean? Well, uh, somebody put all of that stuff in the windows and they're reflect, you're noticing the reflections where we took this picture, but uh, uh, this is, and, and I challenge myself for this, uh, and I see a lot of this kind of photography, where you're ending up actually just photographing somebody else's artwork. And, and, uh, and But I'm glad that this photographer noticed it and noticed the reflections that are caused, you know, by the, 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 the angled uh, storefront glass. I mean, too bad that the doorknob and the door lock are not, you know, gargoyles or something like that instead of, you know, true value hardware, cheapy, you know, shiny, goldy things. But, um, but it's, uh, it's a pretty image, but I... I it, when you come across this, photograph it, I totally get it. Watch your lines, like use perspective control and get the verticals and horizontals so that they're painfully in, in, in order to give that tension. Uh, um, but in some ways you're kind of photographing somebody else's artwork. Um, in all goodness, again, it's a, a picture of some flowers. Pink allure. Um, so I don't know if that's the name of the allure plant, or I don't know, but it's uh, it's pictures of flowers. Nothing wrong with it. Pretty picture of flowers. A little little blown out in the background. I hope you work in raw, and if you do, you could bring that down in the background a bit. But uh, it's it's pretty pictures of flowers. Um, you probably you know may have thought, geez, this is a really beautiful picture. And it really, really is. Um, it's just in this category, I can't remember bloody heck what this category was anymore. Um, but uh, but it, there was an, oh, I don't know where we are, we're, whatever the category is. There was another one, which you'll see in black and white and not that we couldn't have had two black and whites, or two colors or whatever's. Um, but it, it's, it's a nice image but it, 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 there was something a little more in the random you know, choice of opinion that, that I rightfully or wrongfully gave. And this could be an honorable mention too, like all of it. It's a pretty picture. Um, this one is you know, a picture of a market in, in, I was just in Mexico right, when COVID happened and had to end a workshop. I was hosting there midway through. I could be in Merida, Mexico. 
Um, it's also, I, I don't care what camera it was taken on, but it's either been blown up and heavily cropped or a, a, a very basic you know, camera, really noisy and pixely. Um, but I do sort of like the world inside, but you know, next time go inside. The, the, the outside isn't quite as interesting as what's going on inside, all that hanging sacks of strangeness and wonderfulness. Um, I do like the pink rubbish bin, but, um, but yeah, it, 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 it's needing a little bit of in missing intimacy here. A nice picture of sports, uh, you know, a, a good typifying moment. I don't know where this is. Oh, the guy has a Pittsfield shirt on, so it must be a high school uh, a rugby match or football, a soccer match. And um, it's a nice moment, but, you know, in the big scope of things, sports photography is like a whole art. And it's not necessarily always the long lens and just the moment. Um, but it's a nice picture of a sporting event, and, and hats off to the photographer who did it. Now we're back to the honorable mention and uh, first place. So this is the honorable I, mention. So I actually had issues with this, <laughs> um, uh, but I chose it because it is so beautiful. Uh, and, it is beautiful. Uh, but my issues with it were, is this in a museum? Is it like Hancock Shaker Village? Uh, how magically unbelievable are there shoes at this table or chair? You know, was it set up? Was it not? You know, is this a working farmhouse? Um, and I get that this was either a project that you guys had of like the, like the baby car seat of, of empty chairs or whatever. Uh, and now this is titled They Don't Live Here Anymore. Well, if they don't live here anymore, somebody sure as hell put a lot of effort in putting the friggin' shoes under the doggone chair for people who don't live there anymore, right? So I'm, I'm sort of like looking at this image going, all right, has this all been stylized to be this way? It, is it a real place? Is it a museum? I don't know. I don't care. I moved all that away from me. And it's a, it's a really pretty picture. But it begs to ask, all of these background questions because it's a little too irritatingly perfect. Does that make sense? <laughs> and uh, and so this one is just like, oh my gosh, I want to print this on my wall. I mean, th this is just gorgeousness. As somebody who you know photographed an event, a place, a moment. Uh, and so much poetry and not seeing it for what it is. Um, not that everybody needs to photograph this way. No, photograph how you see, how you feel. Uh, but there's, this is just beauty. And, uh, and I don't, in all kindness to uh, Bumblebee and Hummingbird, and um, I'm even gonna bring in other things, so the, the soccer player, uh, you know, multiple doors and, 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 and lighthouses and rowboats. Um, when you see the rowboat anchored in the water, um, this is the rowboat anchored in the water taking me someplace that I haven't been before. See what I mean? You know, you know it's like, it, it, this photographer just photographed the egret and another picture of an egret. But I'm just taking someplace like, Holy shmolies. I This person has so much pouring inside of them and out of them. I want to like get to know this person and know what this person thinks and feels, and and it and it's just touching me in a, in a really beautiful way. And and uh, it's just magnificent. That that that. It, not like I haven't seen it before. I mean, I've never seen this picture before, and it's totally whoever this photographer is is, is their image. But it's um, it's a real real embracing of the of the majesty that's before us if we don't look at it for what we imagine it's supposed to be. And that leaves only digital advanced. Oh my gosh! And then I am going to have to go. Okay. Do you have to go right now, or? Well, I kind of. I'm about to lose all my. Can I just quickly look in the other room and you guys talk amongst yourself really quickly? Absolutely. Who did that egret? 
Okay. Susan, the one in... is that you? Yep, Susan, that's you me. Did... Oh, it's awesome. I did it. A, be a beautiful photo. Who? Oh, thank you, thank you. Who's who is it? I didn't get that. It's Susan me, Smith. Susan. Oh, Susan, that I I don't know you, but I know your name now. You're famous with all your beautiful work. <laughs> You know who I am because I, I came in to the meetings with two new people as well as myself. First it I was me, of... and then it was Stephanie, and then it was P. Uh -huh. That's yes, I know. I know. You, you multiplied our club by numbers. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, they, but they left me during the Zoom time. Yeah. Were they afraid of Zooming? <laughs> uh, well, he, Christina's been he's trying. not digital. Christina wasn't one of yours. Okay. <laughs> well, Christina was going to be trying to join us, but work has been interfering. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. And that was her photo of the chair with the shoes, right? Yes. Right. Oh, I, I'm not, oh, I probably should that. That, that. That was a great photo. John, if, if he can't stay, just have him do the, the, the... I don't remember I've seeing this owl before. Who did that owl? That's gorgeous. Oh, Ning. John Mathis, did you hear what I said? Oh, uh, okay. So, what? Uh, I heard the first part, but then somebody else was talking. Okay. I said, if he has to leave, maybe he can just do the, the winner and the, and the second person, because he's saying yeah. kind of the same thing over and over. I think he's already gone. Yeah, he's uh, checking in rooms. Yeah, he's coming back, yeah. He, he is coming back, but I, I'm saying if he can't stay. <laughs> yep, we would be able to do it that way. Um, while we're waiting for him to come back, I'll just go through the point total winners. Uh, as soon as I find my document on my other computer, it took me two seconds to remember what mouse to use. Point total competitions. Okay. Uh, and just as a reminder, it's based off the top seven scores. If there aren't seven scores, it's based off however many there are. <laughs> so monochrome, okay, our third place would be Susan Lynch, uh, Susan Lynch Smith, 30 points. Um, again, with monochrome, nobody had full seven. Um, second place is a tie at 40 between Bia De Silva and Donna Hitchcock. And then first place with 139 is Dave Simmons. And it looks like John is back, so we'll get to the others after. Um, are you going to be able to stay with us or do you have to? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I am going to have to go, but we can... I don't want to plow through it, but we'll we'll go here. Um, okay. Uh, uh, okay. So uh, first, you want to move the the two red guys to the end. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And I don't remember who first and second. Yeah, that's how it was. Okay. Let's okay. dive into it and then hit the F key or or just double click on the first guy. Uh, so this is a really pretty picture. I, I do like it, um, but and maybe I wish maybe the, the the pussy cat in the window had this sort of feel to it. But there was you know, this could have been the selected one too. I don't know. What, what do I know? Uh, I don't know where it is. Like why is there a pumpkin sitting here? It, it almost seems you know perfectly stylized again. Um, but neither here nor there. It's pretty. I mean, if you really want to get picky, like watch that the chimney is not in the in the the the, the frames of the old lead glass. Like have it just to watch for if you're going to do still lights to, to be acutely attuned to. It's a beautiful picture, but for whatever reason, I I, I just felt like there was something a little too like. It's a bit like the shoes, which I know it was a selected one, but how did it get there, you know? <laughs> and uh, But it is really beautiful autumn light, and it can be the hallelujah winning picture, too. 
Oh, in one sec. I appear to be in random order here. Once. As long as we got the other two at the end, and then your doesn't matter the order of. What are these? What category are we even in? What's oh, going okay. On? You were. Um, this is digital advance. Oh. Okay. So these were just submitted digitally. Oh, okay. Um, I, I only just see it as, as images. Uh, I, I don't mind this. I mean, I'm glad somebody sees you know, the different colored chairs up there, but it's a picture of different colored chairs up there. It's nice. I don't know. You know I, one of these days, if I have the time or, or you ever want me to not tell you ever what to do, but all these different terminologies and digital advance and all, I'm seeing, you know, advanced photography in everybody. Uh, I don't know if that makes everybody feel good or feel bad or whatever, but um, it's all good. I mean, like there's overlaps of these categories that don't seem to really make any, any sense, but um, it's a picture of, of chairs hanging from something up above looking up to the sky. Um, uh, it, this gets into this, you know, pretty landscapes again, uh, the river things, the reflections in the river, the reflections in somewhere in Amsterdam or wherever it was. Um, this is no question beautiful. And I, now I remember why I, I felt, okay, uh, first of all, it's sort of what I'd expect. And I know you don't want to hear that, whoever took this picture, if they're here. Um, but the colors are a bit like Lynn and I are tripping out on mushrooms again. And we're going like, whoa, oh, man, look at the blues, man. You know, it, it, and I'm being a little silly here. But Another if you're going to... in our group. What's that? Another one flying high in our group. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but the, 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 this is sort of where the colors are so distracting and I know that some people may think that's great or whatever but if if you were to look at this and and not that it has to be we can make it all trippy you can say whatever you want I don't really care uh, but I look at this and go hey man what's going on you know uh, and and what's really the most interesting part of this image to me are, are these sort of the ghost forest in the middle of the river. Um, and, and, you know, I guess it would be sort of, I mean, Ansel Adams was a total manipulating, you know, unbelievableness in the dark room, right? Before, it, before you could go pixel by pixel or grain by grain, the guy that was doing it in a wet dark room, uh, take his raw negatives and they're just, you know, a, a, pretty picture of a landscape, but it's all about that zone system and gradation and whatever, whatever. Uh, it, I would come in here if you gave me the raw and I would almost darken the sky down and I would be dodging out all of these dead trees or these spindly things that are coming up because that's what's really interesting. Uh, and uh, But the, the color distracted me so much. It, it almost seemed like the, you know, flags of a, Balkans nation, you know, yellow, blue, and brown. <laughs> you know, it was it was just really, really heavy on the color. A beautiful picture uh, of a snowy white owl. Oh, it's actually called a snowy flying snowy white owl. Uh, and hats off to the photographer that you even found a snowy white owl. I mean, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a snowy white owl, but in the big scope of photography. Um, it's a pretty picture of a snowy white owl. It'd be a nice cover of like Audubon magazine, maybe you, you know, crop it vertically, not that I want to crop, but it, it is screaming now when I look at it you know, uh, vertically here. Um, it's really beautiful and maybe I should have selected it and, uh, and I goofed uh, choosing it. I do like it, ding, 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 ding. But it's a picture of an owl. Uh, the, the nice, fun portraits, sort of like I went to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disney before it was COVID days, and we dressed up in pirates outfit, and we had our pictures taken, and we, we got the picture. And it's nicely done, and studio light, and da da da, da and, you know, the mm. Academy Award for costume design won the, the, the Academy Award for that. But it's, you know, it's two guys goofballing, uh, 
pretending to be Johnny Depp. Uh, pretty pictures of flowers. Um, really pretty. Uh, I do like it. But it's I, I get tortured not by the, not that there's anything wrong with the picture. It's a pretty picture, but I get tortured by how do we take this kind of photography further? Um, it's a beautiful picture. I could see this on a you know poster. I could see you hanging it in a wall. But it's sort of like how do you? I mean, it'd be interesting to do this. Never replicate it, and you wouldn't want to replicate it. But like the snowy egret, you know, or the, whatever. I don't know if it's a snowy egret or whatever that egret uh, uh, flying in blueness, gorgeousness was, you know, how do you maybe photograph these flowers so that it's not just like, here's an egret, here's like a whoa, an egret, here's not flowers, here's like whoa, here's flowers. I, I don't know because it's not what I do, but I do photograph flowers sometimes and I'll do them out of focus, I'll do them blurred, and, and I don't know if it's right or wrong, good or bad, and who cares, but it's a pretty picture of some flowers. It's a picture of a cat. <laughs> I'm just being honest, guys. You know, Mr. Kitty Meow Meow, that's nice. But Mr. Kitty is sitting on the sofa. I got a 800 pound gorilla over here sitting on a chair. And if I don't give feeling to the 800 pound gorilla in the room, it's just a picture of the 800 pound gorilla in the room. Um, a, a little bit detached, um, uh, you know, I love these bubble thingies, um, uh, and uh, composition, it's a bit messy, the, the girl in the pink has a, a head growing out of the top of her head from the, the girl in the yellow jacket behind, and, uh, um, you know, it, I, would, I know you may be shy, whoever this photographer is, and bubbles in Brussels, um, but when you see this, and it's, oh, I know, I actually bought um, bubble, that whole bubble stick wand thing when I was in Brazil last year. Um, I have it upstairs. I just found it the other day uh, for my kids. And, uh, and this is where you just got to, you know, umpteen people are going to come by this bubble guy. Uh, and this is where you go, oh, Richard, you can turn the lights on again. I'm so sorry. Um, and, and this is where you go, um, hey, I want to hang out with you mom with four kids or mom who's got four and, and not just really far away and you watch your composition and you, maybe it's all about the bubbles and then you know out of kindness to the guy who's probably an immigrant trying to make a living somehow in Brussels you know buy one of his bubble blowing wand stick things for you know 10 euro and, and share the love it's about getting intimate. Uh, it, it, it's maybe this is the empty chair thing again. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it, it, it is uh, playground equipment, um, and it's playground equipment, and it's nice. <laughs> It's also like super crop, like nine by 16. That's fine. Um, I'd almost love to say like, you know, pull back and like make these creepy, wonderful playground equipment things like really small in the frame in the poetry of the landscape, unless you're surrounded by, you know, nothingness. I see a fence back there and whatnot. But uh, it doesn't have to be so literal of like, oh, okay, if it, it, I'm presuming, I guess I'm assuming more than anything else, but I'm going to presume that this was part of the empty chair project. Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay. So, so whoever this photographer was, to you don't have to go like, where's the empty chair? I've got to find the empty chair. I've got to find the empty chair. Oh, here's the empty chair. And then like focus on the empty chair. Maybe, right? I could be talking out of my rear end here. So, what do I know? But pull back, and this doesn't have to be a long lens or you know heavy compaction or whatever, and and give this sort of strange 1950 Soviet era playground writing equipment the breath and the love that it deserves in the sense of its place, and then it becomes an art project instead of just here's two empty creepy playground pieces of equipment. I understand. 
Mm. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it, like, like pull back and, and, and give me the scene. It, it, it could be amazing, you know, six by six with you know, 24 millimeter or whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. But where, okay. where you get the trees and whatnot, it doesn't have to be literal. Gotcha. And then I'd want to buy a print of it because it's just so weird. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the empty chairs again, maybe? I don't know. Um, uh, it, it, it's fall. I think he's found, found us out. <laughs> okay, so it's fall. It's some empty chairs. It's somebody's property that you don't want to go on. And we're at gates. And the lighting's not quite brilliant, but kind of brilliant. And it's pretty, but it's, I think there's something more. I don't know if we need to actually have the gate. Look, the more I'm looking at this, like, look at the, uh, the, the, the squiggly red line of the, the dirt road that goes in, or cobblestone road or whatever. Um, you know, the snakiness of that. I don't know if we need the asphalt in the foreground or if we need the gates of the estate or whatever. And, and the sort of swirly whirliness of the, of the redness uh, and because this is more of an art project than anything journalistic, come in, you know, bring out the red, matches the red, uh, and the chair that matches the red foliage, and then sort of not apocalyptic, but darken the sky a little bit. And then it could be like, holy shit, this is kind of interesting. Um, uh, so I'm glad that the photographer's seeing this, but I want you to like give yourself more to this. I think you have more in you to give. In fact, I know you do. I can feel it. You're good. Just, just give yourself to it. Um, in, in all absolute love to whoever took this picture, you're doing a great job marketing uh, yoga tune balls. And, <laughs> um, and, 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 and uh, static and mobile. Okay, so that's like, super literal uh, Kripalu yoga ball marketing. This, uh, this was my first, my first ever uh, uh, double exposure in camera. Oh, oh, oh. First okay. right, well, cool. and then, then you took some mushrooms and you had a good time with, 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 with me and, and whatever her name is, I, I, Linda, I think it was. And, that would be uh, me. And, oh, there we go, sorry, yes. And, uh, <laughs> And, and you're, you know, you're tripping out on some yoga balls and you're doing first ever double exposure in camera. I, I, I would say, and I'm saying this out of kindness, whoever you were who just told me about this, who cares doing double exposures? If you want to go do it and learn it and understand it. it it's sort of like, like I got a hammer and I want to try to build something so I'm going to whack the shit out of this thing and make this thing. It was the blur it was our blur category assignment, yeah. Oh, blur category, okay. Man, I'm gonna like get inside your guys' camera club and we'll come up with some- John, how did, John uh, uh, Mathis, how did this, what was the, how did this do? They say again? I was just wondering where this photo stood. Did it, did it, it didn't receive anything, did it? Pierre, In no, in the blur category, I think it may have? I don't remember. Um, no, I'm just curious. Oh, you guys have some sort of like pointing thing, okay. It's a, it's a, you know, maybe if you just didn't have the, you know, the, the commercial marketing aspect to it, that's even trademarked uh, okay. and registered, uh, it, it, I'd be less like, <laughs> like sucked into the that you're selling well he's not trying to sell it so i think he's okay <laughs> no but 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 all of this stuff is distracting right oh, okay. it, 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 it it's a it's a it's a it's a great big ball of distraction is what it okay. is okay and, uh, and 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 maybe that's how you wanted the blur because when the ball's spinning you don't see the commercial exactly. marketing to it exactly. uh, and then get a bloody tennis ball that's got the wiggly swirly lines in it or the checkered balls of a soccer ball and spin that I guess right you know it, it, yeah but it, they had my, my my tennis balls had too much dog slobber all over them so perfect even them. better because then I want the slobber flying around right you know it's like <laughs> no, nothing can no, be limited almost... like but yeah it's a picture of you know the 
two balls. Token. Oh, almost looks cement. This is you know a really beautiful, and again, if we go come back to grids, uh, John, can you hit the G for a second? Back to grid mode. Um, so looking at everything, uh, it, it, this was sort of up in like you know kicking it with the 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 reflections on the on the lake, and that just got a little too cartoon networky. Again, the pumpkin in the window is kind of pretty, and what have you, what have you. Um, but maybe I guess I got Berkshire nostalgic. Uh, that one sort of. Uh, felt something to me, even though I've seen it a gazillion, a gazillion times before in the 10 or 11 years I've been living here. Um, it just has a nice feeling to it. And um, it really could have been, you know, even the, the, the pumpkin patch and, and what have you. But there was something John, about can it. Can we, oh, here? What's that? Could I, could I make a statement here because I took yeah. the photo? Uh-huh. Uh, uh. I take every photo in, in, in the world for the for the competitions with a full frame camera. Uh -huh. But this one I took backing out of my driveway with my Samsung cell phone one morning unexpectedly. So it's out of camera. So yeah, I mean this is again in all kindness too. I can't see who's talking. Um, I, I don't, and I'm meaning this to really actually have you guys remove this word and your thought, and, and, and what is your name, sorry, Dave. Dave, so uh, I want you and everybody here and everybody that I ever meet and do workshops with, what have you, from now and all the history to come, don't ever care or explain or tell anybody what hammer and nail or soup spoon or fingernail clipper or whatever that you use. I, it, it, is, it, it amazed me, that's why I said it. But darling, I love you dearly and I don't give a crap. All I care, and, and none of us should, all I care about is how incredible your image is. Just like when you go and you see a beautiful piece of furniture, you don't go to the carpenter and say, was that Stanley chisel or was that a Hermerschnicken chisel? You know, it's like, <laughs> who cares, you right? Put that one up again. There you go. It's, what I'm trying to do is to have you guys remove the whatever connotations of and essences of what the, the the hammer and nail that you use to take it. It's a beautiful image. Is it in nine by sixteen format? And I'm in the movie theaters that are closed because of COVID. Okay, I don't really care. It works. I don't see any electrical wires. It'd be great if there were, you know two dogs having sex down the road or something weird and I'm just saying nonsense. <laughs> just sort of, sort of like, you know, like like something crazy going on. And, and, uh, but it isn't, but it's, it. you just can't, you got like a little birdhouse on the left and the, the road and whether you backed out of a spaceship portal using a daguerreotype camera, I, I, I just don't, and I'm saying that out of kindness to you, so that everything that every one of you does for all the history to come has nothing to do with how the spoon you use to make your soup. Because nobody gives a rat's ass about it. They care about the taste of the soup. I and totally here you made some amazingly tasty soup. Whether you made it with a whoop de doop soup spoon or another doop de doop soup spoon, I don't care. And nobody should care. And the person who really shouldn't care is you. As you did it. Final image, the red door, honorable mention, John Mathis. And and John, since I'm talking to you, I remember now choosing this, I think it maybe was with the, 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 the pumpkin patch uh, or, or, yeah, I think it was this one of the pumpkin window. Um, and I guess you cropped it exactly this way, or maybe it is exactly six by six. I you know, don't know, I don't really care. In the big I cropped it this way. Okay. Um, all right, creative license, you can do whatever you want. Uh, it, it's just like perfectly painful. I'm on graph paper, you know, even in the severe ghastly light works, and it's in the scope of compositional phrase, 
it's pretty oopty doopty smack on brilliant. And uh, and the only reason why I went with the Samsung pulling out of a spaceship with a herd of pterodactyls flying over because it was done on a nineteen on a two thousand and nineteen Samsung XL Galaxy five three five. I'm giving you shit, man. Um, is because there's a lot more flavor in that one than this one, but you got some nice flavor here. Too. We thank you very, very much for you know taking the time to be with us tonight. Thank no, you no so worries. much. I, I thank hope, you. This was, thank I, I hope my, my silliness is is there for a reason, is uh, because I can be really serious and I can be you know crass and hard, or I can try to you know put a little bit not comedy into it, but to try to shake us away from anecdotal simpleness and, uh, and and how can we go and stretch our minds and our beings uh, spiritually uh, in fact I'm doing this workshop virtual next week next month uh, through my photo agency 7 all on the spiritual <coughs> connection photography and man if somebody talks about their Samsung XL5942 you know nobody's gonna get hurt or anything but I'm gonna be like oh my god you know because none of that matters. I, I, I want to know what you are feeling. Because only when you feel are you going to be able to see. Otherwise, you're just taking pictures. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because everything else is everything else is irrelevant. And and uh, and all of you are really really good photographers. Um, uh, it, Thank you. It, it's how do you give to yourself, and I think a big part of it is deconstructing uh, totally away from the tool. Um, and and I use a camera that I make phone calls on more than I probably do anything else, and I don't really care because it's always there. And I have my other cameras; they're, they're all just paintbrushes. And, and uh, they all paint a little differently. But other than that, all I care about is like the, the egret flying, is that you don't go and say, here's an egret. That, that you see beyond the obvious and you give to yourself to find the spiritual essence. And it's not about godly spiritualness, unless you want it to be. I'm talking about the, the, the essence and energy that is all around us if, you're choose to, if you choose to feel it. Because only when you become silent and you allow that undescribable essence to come to you, will you ever be able to see it. Otherwise, it's just a picture, in all kindness, of a lighthouse. Gotcha. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, all of you be well, and uh, I don't mean to love you and leave you, but yeah, we're almost at, oh my God, two hours and it's nine o'clock. Okay, uh, I do have to go. Um, all right, thank you, John. Uh, thank, thank you, John. John. Yep. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you very much. Take good care. Right. Thank you. Have a lovely you. Okay, be well. See you all on Instagram well. somewhere or here in the Berkshires. Otherwise, I don't mean to leave, but I got to go. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye.